Hello, you two. I know I look absolutely glorious. Check it. Check it. You see it? That, yeah, that's, that's, that's gross. That's sweat. So I just got done with my first Zumba class ever in life. Excuse me. First, first Zumba class. Um, I was so nervous, um, because I'm still, you know, 400 pounds and, um, you know, first of all, I was nervous. Would I be able to stand through the whole thing? Um, but you know what? I worked it out. Um, I had to do a lot of modifications, which I was prepared for. Um, but clearly I'm still sweating and the class has been over for, I don't even know, 20 minutes. 15 minutes, made a friend, forgot her name. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I wanted to make this video, um, just because I know a lot of times people are very, um, self-conscious and, um, nervous about going to the gym in general or going to any sort of classes. And <clears throat> the thing that I think of is that I'm the one that needs to be in there. I'm not worried about what other, what these other people are doing. You have to forgive me. I'm still trying to f finish my protein shake. I'm not trying to worry about what other people are doing. Although, Miss, Miss Little, this is my private dancing, winking at herself in the mirror. I'm done with her. But anyway. Do the... Not even try... Whatever. She was doing her own little sexiness. And you know what? Do your sexy thing. That's fine. But get up out the mirror. Really? Do that mess at home. You need to relax. But anyway, I just really wanted um, just to, to show, you know, I'm 300 pounds. No, excuse me. <laughs> hmm. Maybe in six months. Um, I'm 400 pounds and was still able to get in there. Um, I can't do the jumping. I can't do the running. Uh, so I made modifications. You know, I have issues with my knees. So when they were doing any sort of twist, I just didn't twist. I just kept moving. Um, if they're doing a kick jump, then I'm doing a kick step, you know? Um, I was definitely sweating a lot and there were times, you know, you have to listen to your body because you don't want to be working at a point where you're going to pass out because <clears throat> you're going to be anaerobic at that point and not burning fat or calories. Um, but anyway, you know, listen to my body. I was very excited that I was able to keep up and do everything, do some sort of modification of everything they were doing. Um, I was able to go the full hour. I didn't have to stop. Um, got my, got some, that's a really good way for me to get water in <laughs> is, um, doing different workouts because I get hot and thirsty. So, um, but very excited. I was talking to, uh, one of the ladies after the class. Um, she was very, ex very excited to see me in the class. And, um, she was telling me about a water aerobics class and, um, I do want to touch base on that as well. So, um, with the water aerobics, I know I've taken a water aerobics class before and, I know a lot of times people think that they're just for old people, but water aerobics is no joke. Like you work some stuff and you may not seem to be sweating so much because you're in the water, but you're working it out. And I know a lot of people get insecure because of the whole bathing suit bit. Here's the thing. So in clothes, I don't know, you know, you guys have seen my, my body shot. I'm a big girl. Okay. When people look at me, they see a big girl. Clothes are not hiding much. The only thing my clothes are hiding are skin. Um, people can still see that I'm a big girl. So being in a bathing suit, it's the same thing. I'm a big girl. And there are many things that I don't like about my body. Um, there are things that I love about my body. But me getting in a bathing suit, I'm fine with that. Um... That's what I need to do to take the class. And I'm trying to take the class to better myself. So, you know, just realize that this is your journey and it's okay. You've got your lumps and bumps and lovely lady lumps and rolls. And you know what? That's okay. That's a part of you. And it's, I'm going to kind of, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting on it. I'm pulling it out. 
<laughs> a lot of times I watch some of the videos and I, I hear people talking about how how much they hate their body and um, how much the the surgery will help them feel better about themselves, how much getting the surgery will um, help them feel beautiful. And, sweetie, you have to be able to look in the mirror now and find beauty. You have to be able to look in the mirror, mirror now and love yourself. You have to... Shoot. Let me do this. You have to be able to look in the mirror now and love your lumps, your bumps, everything. Because if you can't love it now, you're always going to be reaching. You're always going to be chasing for that beauty. And you have to start, you have to start now. And I will say it again, if you have not done it, if you don't do it every day, you need to step in front of that mirror. You need to take off all of your clothes and look at yourself in the mirror. From head all the way down to your toes and everything in between. From fingertip to fingertip and everything in between. Front, back, and in between. Just like I tell the kids when they're washing their hands, wash front, back, and in between. You need to be able to look in that mirror and find your beauty. If you can't find your beauty now, there's nothing that surgery is going to do for you. Does that make sense? There are plenty of things that I want to change about my body. There are plenty of lumps and bumps and big thigh chunks and all kinds of things that I would that I'm working on to um go away, be smaller, make it easier for me to move, make it um make it easier for me to find clothes, make so I can look better in the clothes, you know? Um but uh, you have to be able to find your beauty now. Because, you know, you hear people say that, uh, what, what is it? Beauty's only skin deep? Or beauty's not skin? Whatever. Find your beauty. What happens if you get in a car accident and your face gets all messed up? Or, you know, you still should be able to find the beauty. Think about, uh, what's that boy? That uh, soldier that was on Dancing with the Stars who had all the burns on his face, that boy was beautiful. And it really, <laughs> that that statement that beauty comes from within, I mean, that boy is fine. And I don't know what he looked like before. I, it doesn't matter to me what he looked like before because now you can, I mean, you can, you can, you can see it. You can see that beauty. And um, so, you know, don't hold on to this surgery to, to give you beauty. Find it now. You find it now, then it's slowly just going to increase as the weight comes off. It's slowly going to, you're just going to blossom. And you're just going to be glowing as you're going through this journey. This journey that you will be going through, that we are all going through for the rest of our lives. So, I went there. It's fine. Um, did Zumba. Very excited. Um, I'm going to go home, try to find a bathing suit so I can do my water aerobics tomorrow. Um, and my goal is to do three workouts a week. Um, at least three, if, uh, not necessarily saying, Oop, I hit my three, I'm going to stop. Um, but yeah, so very excited about this, uh, introducing more fitness into my life. And I realize I'm at nine minutes, so I'm trying to cut it down and be done here. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, hopefully, if I'm able to get to that water aerobics class tomorrow, I can give do another video and let you guys know how that went. Um, but my uh, my knees are a little a little achy, um, but feeling good about it. So I'm meeting with my uh, trainer Caitlin tonight, and hopefully, we'll be able to work this out. So um, until then, I will see you all later. Be safe, have fun, and love yourselves. You're beautiful.